Like, why do we have to go through obstacles to purchase something? I'm not understanding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha. For those of you guys who may be new, and for those of you guys who are not new, what's poppin' friends up? <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with me today, but anyways, so for today's video I wanted to see if I can accomplish like a soft glam look kind of like my go-to I gave you guys a little bit of eyeshadow today, but typically I did the same steps that I always do when I do my makeup So I wanted to see if I was able to accomplish that with all drugstore products. I know I can I know I could and I did but also I know recently I've been using a lot of higher-end products only because like I use drugstore products for so long now I've finally been like you know dipping and dabbing into other products and I love them and I've been using them so now we're going back to our roots okay and we're gonna use these drugstore products and I think my face looks great so if you want to see how I achieved this look so if you guys want to see how I got this look before we get into this I need you guys to subscribe to this channel for me please like this video and keep watching alright guys so I'm super excited to be doing this video because I have been bougie and I don't like that I don't like that Okay, so we are going to be doing a drugstore beat and we're going to do a good old nasty beat, okay? Because you can still accomplish a snatched face with the drugstore product. So excuse my nails, you guys are going to keep seeing them. I get my nails in a few days. So anyways, we're going to start off with this face. I'm going to start off with my brows. I know this isn't technically drugstore, but when I say drugstore, I mean like the right side of Ulta because I live in Ulta so like although I go to Target a lot Walmart typically I end up buying a lot of my makeup from Ulta anyway so you gotta think there's brand there's gonna be brands in here like Colourpop, Morphe, so on and so forth they're still gonna be pretty affordable so <clears throat> let's get into this so I'm gonna be using my Morphe pencil in the shade Chocolate Mousse this is actually one of my favorite brow pencils um, because it's literally perfect and it's so affordable. I think I ended up getting these for five dollars Ulta always has crazy sales as well So sometimes it's kind of better to shop in Ulta versus like going to Walmart or Target because you think it's cheaper You might get a deal at You know Ulta and they always have coupons and you can use your points and it's just it's just a lot better Okay, so maybe this is like a full face of Ulta. No, I'm just kidding. This is a drugstore, but um So yeah, I absolutely love Ulta like and they have the prestige side which is like you know your Too Faced, your Urban Decay, your other more high-end brands so I'm gonna just fill in my brows very quickly with this and I got my brows done yesterday so they're gonna be very sharp very very sharp but as you can see it took like two seconds to fill it in and boom we're all done that was super easy so yeah this brow pencil is amazing it's super affordable another one that i like to use but i'm out of is the maybelline um brow ultra slim i love this pencil but they run about the same price like this one's eight bucks and this one is ten dollars regular price but again i told you guys you can get little deals on this and also morphe always has like sales like i just got a bunch of stuff from morphe for my kit and I got like 40% off and the stuff was already like, I don't want to say 50% off because that's OD, but it was already on sale, okay? So I got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff like hella setting sprays, foundations, conceal, I got a bunch of stuff, okay? I love it, I love it. But anyways, so yeah, these are all, this is all I'm doing to my brows today. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. I'm going to cheat because I love the concealers that I'm going to use but I do not like them for my for my brows I like a thick concealer for my brows so if you know a good drugstore concealer comparable to my one second ours um soft matte please let me know um I don't for me I just like this super thick um concealer under my brows and I just can't stray away from it we're locked in at this point so yeah, I haven't used any kind of liquid concealer on my brows in so long. Mm -hmm. 
So for eyeshadow, I'm pulling out my Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I know they're not, again, technically drugstore. So I'm using the nudes and the, hold on, the nudes and the chocolates. So these are really, really cheap, you guys. I don't know any actual drugstore brand that has good eyeshadows. Like, they just be looking so lackluster. They be looking so dry. Let me know your favorite drugstore um, eyeshadow palettes, whether it be Maybelline, L'Oreal, e.l.f. So I'm just using some concealer on my eyelid as my primer. We will get to concealer in a minute. Oh, I think I got some in my eye. I don't really think an eyeshadow base is like necessary. I know a lot of people live by it, but mm -hmm. So for brushes, I'm gonna pretty much be using like mostly Morphe brushes. And like you can get every brush that you pretty much need by Morphe for like 50 bucks which is not terrible, but it's not like the cheapest. Sometimes you're gonna have to invest a little bit more money in certain things like your tools, you're gonna have for a long time. So I feel like it's okay to invest a little bit more, you know, or save up a little bit more for that. So I'm gonna go in with the Nudes palette first and I'm gonna be using this color as my transition. All right, just put that all on the brush and just kinda pop that in the crease. You're not really gonna see it, but um, I kind of need to lay something down first so that I can kind of have a guide of what I'm doing. I have like two mirrors in front of me, so you're gonna see me going back and forth. Like each mirror does something different, I don't know, so. <laughs> I laid that down, now I'm going into the chocolates palette and I'm going in with this brown and I'm gonna pop that in the crease. And you see how it's not like spreading uncontrollably? That's why I laid down that transition color. It's gonna kind of like control the next color. Ooh, I keep poking myself in this eye. Um, it's gonna kind of control the next color that you lay down. So even though sometimes the transition color may not have a lot of pigment or show up that much, I would still just lay it down just so that your eyeshadow process is a lot easier. Because if I just laid this brown down first, it would literally be be be. be. <gasps> Why can't I ever talk when I turn the camera on? If I was to um just lay this darker brown down first, it would be all the way in my brow bone, and that's not the look I'm going for. You want a nice soft glam look, and that's what I'm gonna give you guys. Okay? I always like this eye better. It's so weird. I don't know what it is about this eye. But I could just never blend it right. And this is just a clean brush. I'm just kind of like diffusing those edges a little bit. Like this one took half the time to blend. I don't know what's wrong with this eye. That is very strange. So next to make my life 20 times easier, I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. And I broke the top off of this. I don't know how that happened. Literally the tops of everything that I have always just breaks off. And it's really frustrating, but... <sighs> life so I'm gonna take that glitter primer and I actually probably should just get a new one because since it's been open it's like super tacky it's never this tacky but we're gonna work with what we have so I'm gonna place that all over my eyelids wow that's like super tacky it's normally not like this you guys I promise you if you buy a new one it's gonna blend out smooth trust me I'm gonna go into this chocolates palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. And because I put that glitter primer down, it's literally like a magnet for the shadow, so it's just gonna stick so much better. It's gonna make my life so much easier than having to sit here and pack and pack and pack, and then I'm gonna have fallout. Like, this just makes it so much easier, you guys. Honestly, you guys, you could just get away with one of these palettes. If you like these more browns, you could do that because this one doesn't really have many like transitional shades for me or like I can't do anything with this really. Like it's just like a bunch of lid colors. I mean, they're cute, but it kind of limits you. So if you have to choose one, get the chocolates palette. Now I'm just going back in with this brown shade and just blending everything together. You guys know um soft glams i hope we all know by now <laughs> are super like effortless and airy we don't want any like cut creases or anything like that and you guys know i'm dragging this brown into my into the bridge of my nose because that's my thing 
and then I'm just gonna diffuse it just a little bit just a little bit you see how this one always goes higher up like what the heck and then just to like brighten it up like just a little tiny bit I'm gonna go over it with this shade these both probably look the same on camera but this one's a little bit peachier and this one's a little bit more like an actual nude and I'm just gonna go over that just so it's a little brighter And in my opinion, Juvia's Place is going to have the best affordable palette for the price. So this is my eye for now. You guys know how I do. I kind of like leave my eyes alone and then go back. So now I'm going to go into my face. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I absolutely love, love, love this primer like this is one of my favorites this is a staple for me i actually like all of them the um illuminating one is great the matte one is great but this one's my favorite one because it really like focuses more on texture for me makes your face super poreless it's very comparable to the tatcha actually it's better i did a video like last year the video is terrible so i'm not gonna link it but it's still on my other channel if you want to see it but um it actually held up better than my tatcha primer and it looks better to me so now moving on to foundation i'm gonna be bringing it all the way back you guys i'm gonna be using my nyx um total control i love this foundation like this foundation is so freaking bomb like it's amazing. So I got this actually sometime in December. I don't know if you guys had saw. I don't know if I put it in my vlog, but I was in Target and they were half off. So I went ahead and got them again. And I'm glad I did because I got it because like I'm just, this is why I'm on a makeup strike because I just buy stuff. But luckily I did buy it because I actually didn't have any more when I got home. So I ended up getting these for half off at Target. But come to find out, they like repackaged them. So that's why these were on sale so annoying i really want to buy the repackaged one like i think the formula is the same but like the repackaged one just looks like super cute and like ugh, i'm like trying so hard but same thing so this is what i got so i always use the shade cappuccino but it like matches my skin exactly like to the t so when i start highlighting and stuff it like looks too light and i look washed out so i ended up getting the shade mocha I never tried this shade, but I got Mocha just to um, just for something a little bit darker, just to balance out and match this neck. Okay. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know this is one of my favorite foundations, like hands down. Like I, this could be fifty dollars, I will buy it. And it looks small, but it's so liquidy, and you need so little of it that this lasts you a long time. So anyways, um, I'm going to be using Mocha today. We're going to see how this, this looks actually, maybe I should just mix it. You know, that's what I'm going to do. Don't do what I do. Buy one, buy two, buy three. So make sure you guys shake it up really, really good as well because it is super liquidy. And I'm just going to like do, oh, it's not, I didn't get any. I'm just going to do like two drops of each color on each side. Yeah, that would have been probably too dark. You guys see that? So now I'm just gonna mix the two. And, and you guys, this may be a reach, right? But, but just hear me out. This foundation reminds me of the Pat McGrath foundation. I used to love this foundation and I always would be so confused. I'm like, why do I like this? And it's so sheer. It's so light coverage. It's so like, I mean, it is buildable, but overall it's a medium coverage in my opinion. Um, but I'd be like, why do I like this so much? But when it photographs, you guys, it looks so good. The finish of it is like this natural finish. Everything, it's literally just, it's just like the Pat McGrath, you guys, for like quarter the price. I know. I know, it's crazy. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious you guys and it blends out just as easy like you guys see how I'm just like swirling it around super easy normally like what's normally with like my other foundations I have to have like a technique I have to like really like pat it out and then grab my sponge and blend it out like this is just like one two three super easy so it's crazy the concealers that I'm about to show you guys are like the only concealers I have left 
but they're not the only concealers that I like. I just did a huge clean out, so we're working with what we got, sis, okay? So I'm going to be using the um, ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer because it's a skin tone concealer, so it's going to like add a little bit more coverage. You guys know I prefer to use more concealer versus packing on foundation. I actually do like this concealer though. This concealer is really good. It's a very like hydrating concealer and if you guys have been watching my other videos lately, you guys know I've been more into like um, hydrating products, natural finish products. So this kind of works out. Um, another great concealer though, the e.l.f. concealers, chef's kiss. Chef's freaking kiss, okay? I actually used it all. That's why I don't have it anymore. So you guys can see the coverage on that concealer is actually really good. It's a nice light airy concealer, but my face overall just like, it just brought life back to it. it added a little bit more coverage in the center of my face. So now it's time to highlight. We just concealed. So now we're gonna highlight, brighten, lift the face, sculpt the face, snatch it up. So I'm gonna be using my Milani concealer. I actually love this concealer. Is it almost done? I know you lying. Um, I actually love this concealer, you guys. It is so good. Like, when I say it's good, it's great. Like, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of, like, older products coming back. Because, like I said, for the hundredth time, <laughs> I just cleaned out my makeup, which was, like, a big thing because I'm such, like, a... I'm, like, low-key a hoarder. Like, I will keep things for the longest time and not let go of them. And stuff and I was just like buying stuff and buying stuff and buying stuff and not using what I have or not even using the stuff that I was buying it was really it was really dumb um but uh yeah you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of oldies coming back because I bought them for a reason so like I might as well use them I love how it blends out and I love that this concealer is not like super drying it's just the consistency is like perfect. If I have to compare it to anything, it reminds me of a thinner hourglass. So like hourglass is good, but you know, she's kind of thick. This one is like thin, but it has the same finish and the same kind of consistency. So I love it. And I'm using the shade Deep Tan and in the ColourPop, I use Dark 180N. And just a FYI, while I let this concealer kind of thicken up and stuff, um, Every drugstore product does not have to have a dupe, but I'm just kind of comparing it to something that you guys may be more familiar with. Like everybody knows the Tatcha Primer, everybody knows the Pat McGrath Foundation, well not everybody, but majority of you guys. So you guys can kind of get an idea of the coverage, the um, texture, the finishes, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, don't think that just because it's not comparable to something or because I didn't compare it to something, it's not a good product. It's just like off the top of my head from using pro products in the past. I can kind of tell like, okay, this is like this. This feels like this. This is like this finish up. So yeah, just keep up. I'm trying to make these videos a lot more useful for you guys. Um, I want when you guys are purchasing something for my video, you didn't just buy it because you're like, oh, it looks great. And then you're like, oh, I don't really like it. Because yeah, it may look good on me, but if you know you don't like hydrating products, then you're going to be like, oh, that looks good on Tasha, but I'm going to leave it to Tasha because you may like mattifying products. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure that when I'm doing these videos and describing things, you guys kind of have an idea of what you're purchasing or getting yourself into. All right, so now that we're eye to eye, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And by the way, you guys, I'm using my e.l.f. sponge. I absolutely love this sponge, like so, so much. Only thing I don't like is that it doesn't get super clean. Like it's like stains. And please excuse my obnoxious sideburns. I kind of did this on purpose. I wanted to try like that little like you know, like thick swoop. I thought it would be really cute and it is kind of cute, but I kind of sort of want to take pictures today too. So I'm gonna need this beat to come out flawless. So now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder and I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild loose setting powder in the shade Banana. I absolutely love this stuff. I love everything, don't I? That's why I'm using it. <laughs> but, um, I was using this powder heavy, and when I say heavy, like every day, I was using this powder all the time, like about two years ago, a year and a half ago, um, but then I just stopped because just like the Chanel, I felt like it's, like that's my favorite 
powder right now but it just becomes too matte so you gotta kind of know how to balance it and work with it but you guys know recently I've been using the Chanel powder and I love that powder and I I can't even like look at how flawless that is already um I love that powder because it gives you this super like matte um flawless airbrush look like look at the difference in my face do you see the difference with this set versus this do we do we see the difference okay but this the finish of this is just like my Chanel powder it's amazing I love it love it love it If you guys are familiar with my videos you can even look back and see how my face has the same super matte filtered flawless look I love I love you know, I honestly don't really buy um, drugstore pressed powders like that. I don't know why. It's just not anything that ever like really appeals to me like that. Maybe I should just look into it a little bit more. But I do have one. This is literally the only drugstore um, powder I have and we're all familiar with this. This is the Fit Me and I made sure I got the matte and poreless powder. And I'm just going to use that to press all over my face. I don't know how I feel about this. I definitely don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Like, it's not like, if if I never saw this again, I would be okay. But if I had to use it, I would also be okay. So, take that how you will, sis. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, it's alright. Now it's time to bronze up. I'm going to be using my Morphe bronzer in the shade Leader. This isn't, again, really drugstore, but this is the most affordable bronzer that I have. Um, drugstore doesn't really cater to my brown girls when it comes to bronzers. They really be trying us. So any brand that's watching this or may come across this, step it up, okay? Because it's actually ridiculous that we cannot get bronzers in our shade. Like, that's crazy. I know we used to love the um, CoverGirl Queen. I know you can probably still get that online. But I just, I just want to go in the store, grab my stuff, and go. Like, why do we have to go through obstacles to purchase something? I'm not understanding. And it's time to contour my nose. You guys have been loving my nose contour. And actually, I use this. And I never use anything this dark because it looks, it doesn't look bad in person, but it's just a lot. It's, it's a lot. But we're going to do it again. And I always use a small mirror to contour my nose because I have to see what I'm doing. And I always just bring it up into the front of my brows so that it's connected. You don't want to just have two lines on the side of your um, nose. All right, so I look like, um, remember the Goofy movie? That's what my nose is looking like right now. So we're gonna diffuse that. I'm just using my um, powder brush I didn't add any powder, but I'm just kind of like diffusing it because it's like you want it to be defined, but like relax. <laughs> so now moving on to blush, I'm going to be using my favorite blush. I use this all the time. This is the um, e.l.f. infused, I mean, sorry, e.l.f. primer infused blush in the shade Always Spicy. And she is spicy, honey. Like, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. She just gives me this look like something about this blush. Just gives me like that resting bitch face like it looks like my filter my favorite filter on Instagram where it like makes you super warm and blush that's what it gives me and the next step in a perfect world would be highlights but you guys know I do not like highlighter like that but I'm gonna take this um, ColourPop highlighter in the shade wisp and highlight my nose it's a very like soft kind of putty formula um, so I'm just gonna highlight my nose with that you guys know I will literally use any highlighter on my nose. Like, I don't care. So, if you're into highlight, I'm not your girl. I'm sorry. I'm just not. <laughs> so, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Superstay Powder in the shade Golden Caramel 332. And actually, I should probably get this in, um, ooh, I should probably get this in, like, my face shade one day because it's actually a really good full coverage powder. But you guys know I kind of like sometimes when I'm feeling extra, I like to go over 
my under eye with like a light brightening powder because it just gives like this like super lifted look. Like do you guys see the difference or am I tripping? I ask you guys every time. I like this side. I mean this side is cool, but this side, because you guys, you guys have to realize I take a lot of pictures and there's just a certain way I like my face to look when I'm about to like take pictures and stuff. So now it's time to set my face. I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe spray. Morphe again is not drugstore necessarily, but she gives the girls affordable. And I actually got this on the Morphe website for $5 and then I got 40% off. So I racked up on these. Like I have a lot of these. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Morphe setting spray is always good, but this one was the um, Saweetie Peach collection and I guess they're getting rid of it, so it was way cheaper. So after I spray sometimes, I will just go ahead and like push the setting spray into my face. When my hair's up, I feel like I like everything to like be like, it's pulling, you know? So I'm gonna do a wing liner. And I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is one of the best eyeliners hands down. So the fact that it's affordable is even better. soft glam it's like debatable if like wing liner is really soft glam or not but I just felt like wearing liner today you see how it just kind of like lifted my face and like goes with the whole look today so that's what I decided to do and I'm using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara I feel like this mascara is very very good so I just put glue on my lashes I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a minute um and start my lips I'm gonna be going oh this needs to be sharpened so I'm gonna be going in with my NYX lip liner in espresso again if you've been watching me for a while you know this was like that girl she still is but I actually couldn't find her because my makeup was a catastrophe but now I found her so now we're back so I'm gonna line my lips and this liner is literally a dupe for Max Chestnut. Like literally, like I Googled it. That's how I even discovered this lip liner because I was like, what's a good Mac dupe? Because I did not want to spend $16 on a lip liner, even though I ended up getting a Mac anyway. Like I know all the time, I'm like, treat yourself, get this, get that, you deserve. But like, I really feel y'all when you're like, okay, is there a dupe? Because sometimes you don't want to spend $20 on a lip liner. You can't. You got $4 and sometimes even the $4 is cutting it baby because I have been there just to believe okay so anyways I'm gonna um, move on to my lips and I'm gonna be using this elf liquid matte in the shade T rose it looks like this it's like a pinky shade I want to use a lip brush for this yeah like believe it or not you guys I do not have a lot of drugstore lip products like actual like lipsticks and stuff like no they're all bougie and he's very matte but like in a good way. So I went ahead and put on my lashes. These are the same um, I Envy lashes. They were only about seven bucks at the beauty supply store. So still affordable, but very hard to find. Okay, very hard to find. So um, I really do like this matte lip, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloss on. Let me see. So I'm gonna go on with my Maybelline Lifter lip gloss. And this gloss is amazing. The formula of these are amazing and they have a bunch of shades. So make sure you guys check these out. I just really like this pearl one because you guys know I like that more like cool tone, icy kind of lip. So I'm putting this on. So you guys, this pretty much completes my drugstore tutorial. I think my face came out amazing. It looks really, really good. Like it looks like what I normally do like it really does so if you guys like this video do not forget to thumbs up this video and also comment below your favorite drugstore products or your favorite drugstore brand below and thanks so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video